Hello, I'm James Harvey, the Professor of Music Theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. I'll start that timer and we're going to talk in this video, which happens to be the last video on 6-4 chords, about a 6-4 chord that I don't really believe in, and it's one called the arpeggiated 6-4, and I'll explain that in this video. video. So arpeggiated has to do with the term arpeggio, not apeggio, but arpeggio. Arpeggio. So the difference between a chord and an arpeggio, they're very similar to each other. A chord happens all at the same time. So I've written a C major chord there, and now I'm going to write a C major arpeggio. It contains the same notes, it's just that they're played one at a time. So that's what a six or an arpeggio is. The concept of the arpeggiated 6-4 is that you have a chord that has the bass note changing. And we're going to do it like this. How about let's put a G, we'll put an E and a C like that, and we'll make those into dotted half notes, like that. So they're going to, they're going to be worth three um, quarter notes. And then underneath, we're going to do this, bop, bop, bom, like that, C, E, G. So what's happening here, it appears to be that there's a C major chord, so that's root position, and then that's turning into a first inversion, and then into a 6-4. The reason that I don't really consider this to be a, a real type of 6-4 chord is that really all that's happening here is that this is a tonic chord. The bass is moving, but the bass really still is just the C because all of that is a tonic chord. It's that the tonic chord happens to be arpeggiating. But you might run into certain theory texts that cover the arpeggiated 6-4 and have you have you label them. And the way you do that is just by putting a 6-4. Some of them even go as far as to put them in parentheses, and then you write arpeggiated. Uh, but really, in my opinion, the arpeggiated 6-4 doesn't even need to be labeled because it's just a byproduct of arpeggiation in the bass. So let's just do a quick uh, review because this will be the last video on 6-4 chords. There's the three viable types of 6-4s. That's the cadential 6-4, followed by the passing 6-4, and the pedal 6-4. And again, we covered those in all uh, different videos, so if you don't know about those, go ahead and check those videos out, and you'll know all you need to know and then some about 6-4 chords. Thank you.